One minute. Okay, we can start. So, uh, welcome in the multilinear map session. Um, so, the first talk is cryptanalysis of the new CLT multilinear map over the integer, uh, and Ansel is going to give the talk. Thank you for your uh, thank you for introduction. I will talk about cryptanalysis of the new CLT multilinear map over the integers. This is a joint work with Jung Hee Chun, Pierre Allen, Fuku, Sang Min Lee, and Bryce Minoan. At first, let me define a multilinear map. A Kappa multilinear map is a map from a product of group GI to a group GT, which is satisfies a linearity in its component. Its security is based on MDBH problem, which is given Kappa plus in one encoding of MI and encoding of M, determine whether M is a product of MI or not. Multilinear maps have lots of applications. Basically, it is used in multi-party key exchange with, a, uh, with a providing low-level encoding of zero. Another crucial important application is indistinguishability of classification. When it is used in I.O., it does not need to publish low-level encoding of zero. Currently, construction and analysis of multilinear maps are being repeated. Among them, we look through multilinear maps over the integers. In 2013, Kuron, LeFong, and Tibushi proposed a multilinear map over the integers. But it turned out to be insecure by so-called CHLRS attack using low-level encoding of zero. After them, there are several attempts to make it repair, but they were quickly proven to be insecure. At Crypto, uh, Crypto 15, the same authors set out to repair their scheme. It retained the structure of the encodings from CLT 13, but it added a new type of, a, new type of noise to sort CHLRS approach. So it has conceptual simplicity relative efficiency, and wide range of presumed hard problems such as subgroup membership and decision linear problem. However, CLT15 is not secure anymore in the sense that we can find all secret parameters in polynomial time with, res with respect to security parameter lambda. Until now, CLT13 looks secure without providing low-level encoding of zero. But CLT15 is fully broken for all possible applications due to low-level encoding zero are provided by the ladder. Before describing our attack, let me sketch, the first, let me sketch first the CLT15 multilinear map scheme. The construction of CLT15 is as follows. Choose distinct secret primes PI and GI, with GI is much smaller than PI. Let XL be the product of PI and choose invertible G in mode X0 and keep these values secret. The public parameter is N, which is used in zero testing. A level K encoding of MI is defined using CRT, and it is similar to a ciphertext of integer, uh, integer homomorphic encryption scheme. Now we move on to the crucial zero testing procedure. We define UI as follows. Then UI equals GI over GA kappa in mode PI, and it equals to zero in mode PJ. And we define also VI as a product of zero testing parameter of N UI in mode N, and V0 with be the product of PGT and X0 mode N. Then, the time level of encoding E can be rewritten as a linear combination of these constants UI and X0. 
And the size of VI is uh, similar to N over PI, and V0 is much smaller than N. Therefore, the zero testing value of E can be written as a linear combination of VI and V0 over N. The important, important point is this. If E is an encoding of zero, R eyes are, much, uh, R eyes are small enough so that the right-hand side of the zero testing value is much smaller than N. In this case, this equation holds over the integers, not mode Z, and the reduction does not happen. Once x0 is known, the scheme becomes equivalent to CRT13 in terms of security. So CHLRS attack is applied well in this case. Suppose x is an encoding of 0, and y and c be some encoding, then we can multiply these three encodings and reduce each side using mode x0. Then the zero testing value can be written as linear combination of vi and v0. From x0, we can also compute v0. View these zero testing values as in v0, then it can be written as a matrix expression as follows. Remark that the VIs are regardless of an encoding. So by varying X and Y, we can obtain the matrix equation as follows, and it includes some diagonal matrix which is related to an encoding C. Therefore, some eigenvalue computation of related matrix, we can have more CI. Then C minus C i is a multiple of pi. By repeating this procedure for another choice of C prime, we can have pi. However, X0 is secure in CRT15. So we cannot reduce the size of encoding after the multiplication. Remark that the size of E is deeply related to the size of A. So if E is large, then A is large, so AV0 exceeds the modulus N. Therefore, the right-hand side of the zero testing value goes over N, despite E is an encoding of zero. From this reason, the previous, work, uh, previous attack does not work. More serious problem is that the correctness of zero testing does not hold. Therefore, we need to reduce the size of encoding in order to perform in zero testing. Let me explain how to reduce the size of the encodings in CRT15. When two encodings are multiplied under X0, the correctness comes naturally as long as the numerator does not go over PI. However, X0 is secret and the size of encoding is growing. So to reduce the size of encoding, to reduce the size of encoding, CRT15 publishes letters in each level, which are encodings of zero of increasing size. The size of the smallest letter is about secret modulus X0, and the largest one is about X0 square. This explains how the size reduction process works. Using the letter, the size of encoding can be recursively reduced under the size of X0. The light, light, the light is corresponding encrypted values. Since letters are encoding sub zero, the size reduction does not alter the encoded value. So we can multiply encodings while, main, while maintaining its size under X0. Let me explain the effect of letter in the aspect of CHLRS approach. As in previous, we are given encodings X, Y, and C. Then we multiply these encodings and reduce its size using letters. To compare with the previous, there are two additional terms, PI and A prime. By bearing X and Y, we can obtain the matrix equation as follows, but there is, uh, there, 
Tn AR unknown matrices. So it looks hard to obtain secret information as we prove. Now I give a disc uh, brief description how to resolve this problem. The goal of our attack is to compute V0 and so recover X0. This starts from observation of the equation and it consists of two steps. The first step is to remove Ti using the zero setting value of letter. And then we compute V0 from several equations module unknown V0. Let me explain the first step. For a time level encoding of 0E, the zero testing is done after the size reduction process. So it can be written as follows. And the goal of the first step is remove the box indication. If we define a web pi using constants vi and v0, then the box value equals pi value of some letter related one. Moreover, the function pi has two, two good properties. The first proposition indicates that pi is the same as the zero testing value of E when E is an encoding of zero and it is smooth. The second proposition says that pi is an additive homomorphic as long as the associated allies, uh, allies do not go over pi. The conditions on allies are also required for the correctness of the scheme. So we may regard pi as an additive homomorphism. Now we can remove ti. From the additive homomorphic property of pi, we deduced this equation. Therefore, it is enough to compute individual pi x0. Pi x0 can be computed directly from zero testing procedure. For the next one, we may reduce its size using x0 and apply the additive homomorphic property. Continuing this process, we can get, we can get all pi xj's and so pi values of any encoding, any time level encoding of zero even though its size is large. This completes the first step. I remind you that CHLRS approach gives this matrix equation with additional two matrices T and A prime. Through the first step, we remove matrix T in this equation. Now we move on to the second step. As I mentioned before, once X is known, the CLT15 is not secure anymore. So the goal of the sec second step is to compute V0 and so X0. Similarly in previous, we will build a matrix which consists of pi values of some product of encodings. Suppose X be an encoding of zero and Y be some encoding, then by the first step, we can compute pi x y and it is written as a linear combination of v i and v zero over the integers. If we view this value in mode v zero, everything behaves as like in CLT 13 since the additional noise a v zero disappear. So it can be written as a matrix equation includes some n-dimensional diagonal matrix v i in mode V0. Remark that V are regardless of an encoding, so we can vary X and Y and build a matrix equation. Unlike CHLRS approach, we made a matrix, matrix with dimension N plus one. Then it splits into lower dimension matrices in mode V0. Therefore, it is not a full length when embedded into GV0. So V0 divides the determinant of W when the determinant is computed over the integer. By repeating this procedure for another choices of Y prime, we can compute V0 and so X0. 
it reveals all secret parameters in CLTPT. Our attack consists of computing many values of pi and computing some determinant of matrix and GCD. So it takes polynomial time in security parameter. Until now, there are three types of multilinear maps are suggested, but they were all proven insecure when used in key exchange. Uh, specifically, for GGG13, we understood well after a while. Recently, recently, three papers are published to crypto analyze GGH13 without low level encodings of zero. One is applied only for a basic IO scheme. The others are applicable for all IO, but they break quantumly or only for up to degree lambda cube. Therefore, crypto analyze multilinear maps without low level encodings of zero and design a new multilinear map with reduction to standard hard problems are worthwhile. Thank you for your attention. So while the next speaker is getting ready at the end, uh, searching for his mic, um, do, is there any question? So uh, congratulations for your attack. And uh, when, when we designed the scheme, we, we did not expect that it could be broken uh, like this. And uh, yeah, the, the technique is very clever, the, the technique of extending the, the evaluation of, uh, of the, the encoding over the integers instead of only modulo n. Yeah. So this is very clever. And my question is, do, do you expect that, do you think that it should be possible to again repair the scheme or, or <laughs> I mean, do, doing uh, the CLT scheme uh, for key exchange, because for, for obfuscation it seems to be fine, but uh, for key exchange, do you think that it should be possible to again repair the scheme? Uh, if you repair, then I try to analyze again. <laughs> <laughs> Other questions? So I actually have one. Uh, did you try to implement it in practice on the, so there is like this parameter set uh, uh, with the CLT15 paper. Did you try to implement it in practice? Uh, we only implemented once very small parameters. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, so no other question. Uh, let's thank the speaker again. Okay, so second talk of the session, it's a uh, cryptanalysis of uh, GGH map by uh, Yupu Hu and Yu Jin Jia. And uh, Yupu Hu is giving the talk. No. Thank you very, very much. The title is Cryptanalysis of GGH map. Background. Multilinear map is a leveled encoding system, can multiply but cannot divide back. 
and uh, goes further to extract limited information. We know, we know that this can be achieved by zero testing. And uh, it is a solution of a long-standing open problem and uh, a novel primitive which has many cryptographic applications. GGHMAP is the first candidate of k-linear maps for k larger than 2. It is from ideal lattice structure. It is a major candidate of multilinear maps and uh, the best paper of Eurocrypt 2030. Two classes of applications of GGHMAP are applications with public tools for encoding and applications with hidden tools for encoding. In this paper, we show that applications of GGHMAP with public tools for encoding are not secure, and that one application of GGHMAP with hidden tools for encoding is not secure. On the basis of weak DL attack presented by the authors themselves, we present several efficient attacks on GGHMAP aiming at multi-party key exchange MKE. We know, we know that this is an open problem. And the instance of witness encryption, WE, based on the hardness of exact three cover X3C problem. A note, WE is another novel cryptographic primitive published on stock 2013. And the instance of WE based on the hardness of X3C problem is its first instance. This is the situation about major candidates of multilinear maps, GGH, CLT, and GGH15. I should say that GGH15 and GGH are quite different from different structures. Then here is our work. Now, our contributions. Contribution one, we use special modular operations, which we call modified encoding zero testing to dramatically reduce the noise. Such reduction is enough to break MKE. Moreover, such reduction negates KGMDDH assumption, which is a basic security assumption. Note, the procedure involves mostly simple algebraic manipulations and uh, really needs to use any lattice reduction tools. The key point is our special tools for modular operations. Contribution two, under the condition of public tools for encoding, we break the instance of WE based on the hardness of X3C problem. Note, to do so, we not only use modified encoding, zero testing, but also introduce and solve combined X3C problem, which is not difficult to solve. In contrast with the assumption that multilinear map 
cannot be divided back. This attack includes a division operation. That is, solving an equivalent secret from a linear equation, modular some principal ideal. The quotient, the equivalent secret, is not small, so that modified encoding, zero testing, is needed to reduce size. This attack is under an assumption that two vectors are co-prime, which seems to be plausible. Contribution three. For hidden tools for encoding, we also break the same instance of WE based on the hardness of X3C problem. Note, to do so, we construct level two encodings of zero, which are used as alternative tools for encoding. Then we break the scheme by applying modified encoding zero testing and combined X3C, where the modified encoding zero testing is an extended version. This attack is under two assumptions which seem to be plausible. Contribution four, we check whether GGH structure can be simply revised to avoid our attack. We present crypt analysis of two simple revisions of GGH math aiming at MKE. We show that MKE on these two revisions can be broken under the assumption that 2 to k is polynomially large. Note, to do so, we further extend our modified encoding, zero testing. These two simple revisions are natural revisions and cover neighboring structures of GTH st structure. Now, what is main techniques of our attack? Main technique one, modified encoding, zero testing. For the secret of each user, we have an equivalent secret, which is the sum of original secret and noise. These equivalent secrets cannot be encoded because they are not small. Then we compute the product of these equivalent secrets rather than computing their modular product. Then our modified encoding, zero testing, is quite simple. It contains three simple operations. Avoiding computing original secrets of users and extracting same information. That is, it ex extracts same high order bits of zero tested message. The following table is a comparison between processing routines of GGH map and our work. It is a note of our claim that we can achieve the same purpose without knowing the secret of any user. Now, this is the table illustrating processing routines of GGH math and our work. We can see that there are several differences, but same, different, uh, same purpose. Main technique two, 
solving combined X3C problem. The reason that X3C problem can be transformed into a combined X3C problem is that the special structure of GGH map sometimes makes division possible. Now, here is a simple illustration. Simple illustration. If we have the equation A times B equals C, then we can solve B to be equal to A to minus 1 times C. We can solve combined X3C problem with non-negligible probability and break the instance of WE based on the hardness of X3C problem for public truth of encoding. Main technique three, finding alternative encoding tools. When encoding tools are hidden, we can use redundant information to construct alternative cons encoding tools. For example, there are many redundant pieces beside X3C. Encodings of these redundant pieces can be composed into several level two encodings of zero. Suppose that this is a product of two encodings, and this is another product of another two encodings. If their positions are intersected, positions are intersected, then the subtraction, the subtraction is a level two encoding of zero. Now, only one level two encoding of zero is enough to break the instance of WE based on the hardness of X3C problem for hidden tools of encoding. Also, this technique can be adapted to other applications of GGH map, where although encoding tools are hidden, a large number of redundant information are needed to protect some secrets. Now, GGH map and two applications. First, parameter setting. Here, we can see that R is a polynomial ring. RQ is another polynomial ring for integral Q. Mod Q operation is redefined. Then, I emphasize that six elements, G, C, A, B1, B2, H, from R are kept from all users, where G, A, B1, B2 are small. H is somewhat small, somewhat small. Z is random. Then we use principal ideal generated by G. Y is level one encoding of one. Xi, i equals one or two, are level one encodings of zero. PCT is level K, zero testing parameter. PCT is always public. Y and Xi are called tools for encoding. For MKE, they are public, while for WE, they can be public, uh, they can be either public or hidden. Suppose a user has a secret V from R, which is a short element. He encodes 
V into capital V, and he publishes capital V. Then GGH K linear map includes K, Y, XI, PCT, and all noise encoding capital V for all users. Application one, MKE. Suppose that K plus one users want to generate KEY, a common shared key, by public discussion. We know that this is a public uh, open problem. Yeah. To do so, each user K0 uses his secret VK0 and uh, other users encodings capital VK to compute such a modular product. We can see that this is a zero tested message. Uh, then KEY is its high order bits with no relation with K0. Application two, the instance of WE based on the hardness of XCC problem, yeah. A piece is a subset of a subset one, two, three K, containing three integers. X3C is a collection of K pieces without intersection. The X3C problem is such a prob problem for arbitrarily given many different pieces with an X3C. Find it. Now, in encryption, the encryptor generates EKEY as follows. He samples short elements V1, V2, V3K from R. Computes the modular product uh, V1, V2, V3K, Y2K, PCT, mod Q. Uh, takes E, K, E, Y as its high order bits. Then he can use E, K, E, Y as the key, as the key to encrypt any plain test. Then he hides E, K, E, Y into pieces as follows. He randomly generates many different pieces of one, two, three K with an X, three, C. For each piece, I1, I2, I3, encodes the product VI1, VI2, this I3 into capital V I1, I2, I3, and uh, publishes all capital V I1, I2, I3. Decryption. The one who knows X3C computes the zero test of such a modular product. Then EKEY is its high order bits. Then the detail of our modified encoding zero testing. Now here is our special tools for modular operations. And uh, here are our three steps, three steps, uh, and uh, our conclusions. Yeah. Then other details of our work are on our manuscript. Yeah. I think they are a little bit, uh, a, a little big, uh, uh, and uh, uh, my time is coming. So, thank you all. Is there any question?
Okay, so I have a one question. Um, so you have one attack when no um, public um, encoding is given for like publicly encoding value and uh, for witness encryption. Mm -hmm. So uh, did you try to look at obfuscation because there is no public uh, you know, value to encode. It's also already encoded as for the X3C. Uh, Yes, uh, I tried, but uh, not to s m not successful. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any other question? Okay, so let's thank the speaker again.